Hey Reddit, the thing that I get asked the most when broadcasting to Reddit is how do I stream to RPAN, that's Reddit's public access network, with a computer? So I figured I would shoot a short video and break this down into the three basic things that you're going to need to know in order to stream to Reddit's public access network. Uh, but for, for starters, uh, who am I and, and what do I know? So I'm the Loru, both here on YouTube as well as over on Reddit, and I've streamed to RPAN more than a hundred times for almost a hundred hours worth of footage of myself playing retro video games uh, in the evenings. I also stream over to Twitch. Uh, my channel is End of Scanline. I'll link both of those below. All right, so the typical way that you would broadcast to RPAN is to use the official Reddit app on either iOS or Android and broadcast using your smartphone, just using your smartphone's camera to broadcast whatever you wanted to, to show the Reddit community. But you're here because you want to be able to broadcast from your computer, be it a PC or a Mac. So I said that there were three things that you need to be able to do. So let's break those down. Those three things are the software that you need to be able to broadcast, the hardware that you might need to be able to make that broadcast happen, and of course the content of that broadcast. So let's jump into software. All right, so step one is downloading RPAN Studio. So RPAN Studio is the app that you'll use to be able to capture and broadcast out your content to Reddit's public access network. So I'll put a link in the description below for the subreddit for RPAN Studio where you can download the latest version of this app for your PC or Mac. Once you've got it installed, you'll be greeted with this big layout that should look familiar to those of you who have used OBS, which is open broadcasting software, for streaming out to other platforms like Twitch or to YouTube. The big difference between standard OBS and this flavor of OBS called RPAN Studio is that the layout is vertical as opposed to your traditional horizontal widescreen layout. You'll also notice panels on the right for RPAN Chat, where when you are live, your live chat will come in in this panel and your stats will populate in this panel. Your stats being your current number of upvotes, your current number of live viewers, and most importantly, your time remaining to broadcast. As broadcasting to RPAN starts at 45 minutes and ticks down, though Redditors can award more time. But in order for all of this to start working, first you'll need to navigate into your settings and you'll have to enter in the stream tab your uh, login information for Reddit. That'd be your name and password, and it will connect and it will stay signed in here. Once you're signed in, you'll have the ability to go live, but you're not ready to go live quite yet. You're going to need to start populating this big canvas with your content. So in order to do that, you're going to need to add sources of that content. So click on the plus and you'll be able to add video capture devices. That would be things like for your gameplay, your webcam or other cameras. You can add text for your content, images. You can add audio inputs like for microphones and you can do a display capture if you'd like to display whatever is going on on your desktop or just a window if you'd like to share that. Once you've successfully built your canvas, you can take the content of that canvas like images, you can move them around, resize them, reorder them in whatever way you like. And when you are ready to go live, you can navigate down to the Start Streaming button. And upon clicking that, you'll be greeted with another window that pops up to title your broadcast and choose which RPAN channel to go live to. I'm oftentimes going live to the Gamer Lounge, but you should choose whichever channel is correct for you. That was a very brief rundown of how to use RPAN Studio. Now, I'm sure that you have a lot of questions about the overall layout, how to do image masking and all sorts of color filters and everything that you would need to be able to manipulate the images and videos that you'd like to display inside of this flavor of OBS. So if you have additional questions, I definitely recommend searching around on YouTube for help with using OBS as this is based on OBS. Most of the help that you'll find and other information that you'll find about OBS 
would apply to this flavor of OBS for RPAN Studio. All right, let's cover the hardware that you are going to want to invest in in order to get really good inputs into your RPAN Studio app. So the first major thing that you're going to want to invest in is a way to capture the gameplay if you're going to be capturing yourself playing video games or, or what have you from an external source. And that'd be a device like the Elgato HD60 Pro. That's the one that I use to capture the gameplay that's on my TV. Now, this particular device uh, requires a PC because it's an actual card that you install on a desktop PC. But there are other USB options available from Elgato and some other competitors. But this particular solution has really low lag and has pass-through that allows me to pass the footage into it and out from it back to my TV. So that way I can play my game on the TV while the PC is just sitting there doing its capture. Now that's one part, but the other part is you need to be able to see you, right? You need one input for your gameplay and the other input is going to be the video of you reacting and, and playing those games. So in order to do that, you can do something simple like just using a webcam that you may or may not already have laying around and that would work fine. But if you want something that's a bit higher quality, um, there's actually a lot of solutions nowadays to make that happen. Um, the, the growing trend, right, is to use like a, a camera that you already have lying around. You can use like camcorders, that's uh, becoming more common. If you already have like a DSLR or uh, a decent camera from the past few years, anything that outputs a clean HDMI signal of whatever the camera is looking at can be captured using a device like the Elgato Cam Link. Um, there are other devices that you can use that are a bit cheaper. Um, I've been using some options that I got on Amazon for like 20 to $30. They're not quite as high of quality as the Elgato Cam Link, but it'll get the job done. And the resolution that you're streaming at, like we mentioned, isn't, um, isn't super high resolution. So you don't have to be capturing in, you know, 1080p or even, you know, or 4K or anything like that uh, to be able to get a really good looking uh, video of yourself reacting to your gameplay. So the HD60 Pro would be used for capturing your gameplay. The Cam Link or a device like the Cam Link would be good for capturing, uh, you know, your reactions and, and your video. And the third thing that I'd recommend would be a microphone, right? So one of the common microphones that you see a lot of people use uh, is by Blue. I'm using the Yeti and that's just a really common microphone. There are a ton of other microphones and they go up like uh, to insane qualities that I wouldn't ever be able to appreciate. But a device like the Yeti is great for getting good sounding audio to mix with your gameplay footage and your camera that you have inputting. So those are the three big pieces of hardware that I would recommend for anybody wanting to stream out to RPAN using RPAN Studio on your PC or Mac. All right, so we've covered the software, that's RPAN Studio. We've covered the hardware to be able to capture content to use inside of RPAN Studio. Now let's talk about that content. Now that you have the ability to capture and broadcast, you know, whatever you like over to RPAN, that doesn't mean that you have the rights to broadcast whatever you like over to RPAN. So let's go over some of the do's and don'ts of what you should and shouldn't broadcast. Um, so as a disclaimer, I am not a lawyer and I'm not in any way attempting to give legal advice. Um, these are my views, they're, they're purely mine, and they're not necessarily those of, of Reddit or, or anybody else. Right? Um, if in doubt, always seek direction from Reddit's moderators, copyright holders, or seek your own professional legal advice. Now, with that said, um, it's generally common knowledge that you know that you can't stream, you know, copywritten content like TV shows or movies or things like that um, to any platform, be it YouTube or Twitch or or Reddit, right? So keep that in mind. Use your head and do your homework because some other forms of content that are very commonly broadcast might um, have some gray area, right? So music is a big one. A lot of YouTubers like to have music in the background of their videos, but you may have heard of things like copyright strikes. Music is copywritten and you don't necessarily have the rights to distribute that based on who you are and where you live and country and everything else. So do your homework and make sure that if you are, you know, distributing or broadcasting or playing music, right? That is captured as part of your broadcast that you don't get in trouble for doing something like that. 
Um, fonts and images can also have similar, you know, uh, copyrights attached to them, right? You might not necessarily have the rights to um, use a particular font or have certain images in your broadcast that are not your images, right? It could be, um, it could be belonging to uh, an artist that you are not. So um, be careful about that. And gameplay is another really big thing that people just assume, oh, gameplay, everybody streams gameplay, gameplay is uh, good to go. Video games also are in kind of a weird area as well. Do your homework and make sure that the gameplay that you're broadcasting is allowed to be broadcast. Um, some platforms, like Twitch for example, they they know from the copyright holders or publishers uh, what games for what periods of time um, are allowed to be broadcast. Sometimes new games might not allow to be broadcast um, right after they come out. Right, because that'd be kind of the same thing as broadcasting a movie. You know, you'd be just giving it away, and then people wouldn't buy the game. Um, other times, there could be a publisher that might not want you to be broadcasting like beta footage of a game that's not out yet, stuff like that. Um, another big obvious one is okay. I play a lot of retro games, right? If I were to be streaming something like an emulator, that would be bad, right? Because Nintendo explicitly states, and I'll put their guidelines below, that you can't broadcast pirated content. Of, of, of their content, right? That they would have a problem with that. So I'll, I'll link some of their guidelines as kind of an example, but um, yeah, emulators and ROMs and stuff like that are, yeah, uh, Nintendo doesn't like that. So those are some like real obvious don'ts, right? So what are some of the do's? I mean, this is a really cool platform, right? You have the ability to broadcast. Like, make something unique. Don't go around and, and copy somebody else's layout because you think, oh, that looks really cool, I want to have that. Try and make something that's yours. Make something that's unique and something that the community will really, really enjoy. The other thing that you should do is, you know, do something interesting. Um, Reddit thrives on having new cool things that are interesting that they've never seen before. And, you know, that stuff works really well there. So, do's and don'ts of the content that you choose to put on Reddit. All right, Reddit, those are the three big things that you're gonna need to know in order to stream your content out to Reddit's public access network using RPAN Studio for your computer. Like I mentioned before, you can find me over on Reddit. I'm user the Loru. I'm streaming retro video game content over to Reddit's public access network most evenings of the week. And don't forget to give me a follow over on Twitch where I'm also streaming lots of retro video game content um, in a completely different layout. So I will see you all on Reddit's RPAN.